Another unboxing and review, another monitor, gaming monitor from Xiaomi. Right now, this time a little bit smaller, 23 to 24 inches. Uh, previously, uh, two months ago, I reviewed their super huge, large 34 inch ultra wide 144 hertz screen uh, monitor, which was selling around $550. This one is selling under 200 bucks. So, uh, I'll first one I'm going to show you it is uh, the content of this box and how good secured uh, this is. This box is inside, so don't worry about it. Plus, yeah, it's going to be sent by DHL because of the Corona time. So far, only DHL is shipping worldwide. Maybe some other uh, shipping included for Europe or USA, but for the rest of the world, I think DHL only. You just you can buy it on Banggood.com. The buying links will be in the description, so check it out. Anyway, let's see here what we have in the box. Okay, so let's begin, Ninja. So you can see myself over here. This economical box just says here that it's a 23.8 inch monitor. That's it. There's no Xiaomi logos. There is a Xiaomi logo just covered with this tape. Uh, let's check it. Uh, I already took all the content. Uh, I just want to show you, Ninja, exactly how this package looks inside. This is the most important thing. Check this out. So it is super, super secured. I'm going to take this out. So you're gonna easily, the monitor will be inside of this thing just, it's gonna be inside and it's gonna be basically like you see by itself, it will be fully secured. So don't worry, nothing will happen with it. Plus the content, the charger, the cables will be over here in this apartment. Yes, I will show you, I will show you all that all together and that's it, simple. You're not gonna see it have anything inside of this box. Let's now bring the stuff. Okay, Ninja, so here we go. I unpacked uh, also the things which we're gonna uh, come with the monitor. I will show you monitor in a minute. This is the base, basically the stand. It has these three screws. This one is gonna be, you don't even have to use a screwdriver or something like that. You can do everything with the hand manually, which is super, super cool. On the bottom, it has really thick, thick uh, rubbers, uh, two lines, huge lines, which obviously will make it steady. Whatever you even put it on the glass, like I'm doing it right now, which is super, super cool. Wait a minute, we have to put it like this and now it's not moving. Check this out. We have here the brick, the charging brick and this is a 5 volts, 12 volts. Oh, it's a 12 volts, bro. 2 amperes. That's perfect. 12 volts, uh, 2 amperes. Sorry for that. And it has kind of a length, uh, it's, it's a long length. It's a long length of the cable. We have an HDMI cable. Check it out, check it out. HDMI cable, medium length. This is the medium length. And we have some manuals in Chinese and English, which is really interesting. Uh, the ultra wide gaming monitor, which I had, it didn't have the English manuals. It had only Chinese. This one has also English one. So it's perfect, bro. Anyway, let's now move to the monitor. Here we go, just This is the monitor, like you see by itself. Uh, I just want to quickly show you how it looks like on the back. Of course, I'm gonna set it up everything for you. Simple DC port over here and HDMI port. Nothing really extravagant about it. So you can't connect like two different. Uh, it, there, it doesn't have two, three HDMI ports like those more expensive uh, monitors. But that's fine, bro. That is fine for two hundred dollars. What do you want? What do you want for two hundred dollars? Uh, by the way, you will have to uh, unstick this one. This is a sticker over here. It's a protective layer. Uh, and where are the control buttons, Ninjas? The control buttons are just here on the right bottom part. So you can see myself over here. It doesn't even state what that means. We'll have to go through them. Power button and select buttons and up and down. I will show you that when I connect it to my laptop, yes? So you can see myself. It's nice. It is nice. I love this really cool black flat surface. This is not a curved display. It's a black uh, service flat, completely flat uh, monitor. Love it, Ninjas. Love it. It's really, really cool. The vessels are really thin on the top and on the sides, while on the bottom there, uh, it's just regular size for the monitor. Anyway, let's now go to my studio and connect it with the laptop. Okay, Ninjas, we are in, we are in. Like Sipa stuff, I easily connected uh, this uh, monitor to my laptop, um, having uh, everything set up. Uh, so firstly, what we're gonna go is show you the buttons. This button over here, which you can see that my finger has a uh, white light over it. It's a power on, power off button. The, the, uh, the button all the way to the left side, it is the menu button. Just you press it and now everything is Chinese. I'm gonna show you right now how we're gonna easily change it to the English. You simply just go to this icon, which is like an icon of the option, select it, select again. You can even see here the languages. You have only two languages, Chinese or English. Then just browse it, select it and cruise around it. And boom, 
we are in just so to go all the way back is the, just the, this button or next to the power button you can also reset the settings if you want to do that so let's go to the preset settings standard mode we're gonna just use the standard mode that is fine color temperature is fine contrast uh, let's check here the contrast what do we have with the contrast itself just a minute let me go to the contrast the contrast is 75 DCR we could enable also DCR uh, perfect and uh, now we're gonna go back go back and this is the maximum brightness this is maximum brightness dcr it recognized so this is the maximum brightness if you want to check here what is the lowest bright brightness i'm going to just disable dcr now and i'm going to go to the brightness itself up there uh, let's check it out check it out sorry for that now okay go to brightness this is 80 percent brightness let's go to the maximum so it's a bright display, it's a bright display. We're gonna talk about the settings. I just want to go through the, uh, through the menu itself for you uh, and we're gonna follow up. Now we're gonna go to the minimum. This is the minimum. It's perfect for the, for the night new, for the night using just. What you could do is simply just go to the preset mode and you can select here the low light, light uh, low blue light mode. This is immediately be set up for the low brightness. If you go to the movie mode, it will set up to the brightness, maximum brightness, game mode, maximum brightness, eco mode is like a balanced mode and standard mode uh, is also, okay, yeah, I changed it this is why, because I manually changed right now the brightness for the standard mode we, we're gonna just go back to the brightness and select here uh, select here the brightness higher anyway I think you get the point regarding the menu itself not so many options regarding the ultra wide which you can see in the background I'm having an in the background I'm having my ultra Xiaomi ultra gaming monitor 144 Hertz uh, anyway uh, now sh this should be it now we're gonna go quickly to YouTube and do some uh, YouTube uh, watching with it yes streaming here we go here we go ninjas this is right now 2k test obviously I uh, shouldn't even go to the 2k over YouTube but it is 2k at 60 FPS it's flawless it is flawless the display color the color uh, basically the color the calibration is just amazing I love the colors I don't want to even to adjust anything even the standard mode is just beautiful for me I don't know can even my camera catch the details of this display but it's just absolutely gorgeous for this price tag under $200 so 23.8 inches inches uh, features uh, basically a full HD screen supports wide angle viewing angles of 178 degrees so viewing angles are 178 degrees and indeed the viewing angles are absolutely crazy just I will just show you right now uh, from the different angles stay tuned so check this out ninjas absolutely crazy viewing angles loving it uh, <laughs> it's crazy what you get for the price tag check these viewing angles bro that is shocking that is shocking how good viewing angles are of this uh, monitor for this price tag hands down the best deal ninjas the best deal what a great great panel man crazy crazy Beautiful, like see myself, I'm completely now on the side of the screen. I'm not even watching it at the uh, direct there. That is beautiful. That is honestly beautiful. Okay, continue next. This uh, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Loving the viewing angles, love the color production. I'm even gonna go now through the YouTube and we're gonna change the different preset modes so you can judge by yourself what do you prefer. Let's go with the echo mode. This is the echo mode, which you should be using in just this is really great uh, mode here for everyday use. Gaming mode, for if you want to play games, which is the maximum brightness, everything is just maxed. And you can see by yourself, even the contrast, it is higher. I'm going to go to the movie mode. Movie mode does have slightly different color temperature, which you completely can even recognize immediately. I hope that my camera can catch just the difference between the game mode and movie mode. Is It's a big, just it's a big in here in the uh, color temperature. Check this out, again. It's a big difference, it's a big difference. And low light blue, uh, lighter, uh, of course, blue, blue light mode, which is night mode, reading mode, whatever you want. This, you should have this activated every single night in just. Especially people who have a problems with sleeping, this is a really important, important mode. Uh, let's just bring it back to the standard mode and go back. Beautiful. Hands down, uh, the best. Again, I didn't test many, many different monitors, but for this price tag, and by the way, I'm gonna also leave you the links, uh, buying links for the Redmi monitor, which is exactly the same price tag, $200, maybe it's a $10, $20 more expensive. That monitor is also, uh, these two monitors are best, best monitors for this price, almost 24 inches, full HD, 60 Hz, with the beautiful Beautiful, amazing viewing angles and a bright screen just this is a 250 nits brightness visual size diagonal is 60.5 cm 
millimeters. Uh, basically, the color is 16.7 millimeter. Response time is 6 ms uh, GT, uh, GTG. Remember, the product net weight is 4.2 kilos in just. Again, not bad, not bad, uh, not bad. Working humidity is 10% RH, uh, up to 90% RH. The adaptive power input, which we said at the beginning, is 12 volts equal to amperes. Yes. Contrast ratio is 1000 with one uh, aspect uh, contrast ratio TYP. A display ratio is standard. It's a standard. It's not a uh, curved. It's not an ultra wide. It's a 16 with nine aspect ratio, a standard ratio, which it seems that still a lot of people do prefer. And in, uh, in the 2020, the vessels on the sides are super super thin in jazz. I hope you can see that. Oh my God! Now we can see that more. How thin these vessels are. Loving it. Xiaomi, great job. Xiaomi, great job. This is a great move. This is the next step, the next level. This is how you should work and this is how you should advance, uh, in, advance in the future ahead. Working temperature from 0 to 40% degrees. Uh, and what else we can see here? I mean, that's it, Ninjas. That's it regarding the display itself. Uh, we're going to go now and do some gaming, maybe some browsing or something like that. But uh, the most important thing it is here, check here the video visuals. I'm going to also go here and show you maybe a video editing software. Let me just see what I have. Okay, I'm having some video and this is me right now rendering. By the way, Wondershare is a really great. You can even download it. There's a free uh, version of the Wondershare. You can download it. So this is a small promotion for the Wondershare company. Uh, hi, uh, this monitor, uh, this, uh, yeah, portable monitor. It's a portable monitor, 15.5 uh, 15 inches, 15.6 inches. It's selling around 190 bucks. Another great product, Ninjas. So you can see myself here. This is me right now uh, editing and the editing looks perfect. Sorry for that. The editing here for me, uh, it's a perfect monitor for editing. Checking here some games, which I included in my full review of this monitor. Perfect, perfect. You probably can see that this is just amazing. Let me turn the lights off. You don't need them anymore. PUBG. Perfect. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. You get the point here. Uh, viewing the keyboards. Uh, let's check this out. What is that? I'm just playing here the Call of Duty with this monitor. It's crazy. By the way, uh, please uh, uh, don't look at that frame rate on the top. There's maybe a small bug with the Microsoft counter. I think using our Bandicam counter. Because I connected this game and the last time I played this game is, was with my Ultra Gaming monitor, uh, Xiaomi, which supports 144 Hz. And maybe it has some, it recognized it my last uh, save state and maybe because of that it's running and showing the fps like that but remember that this is an older game and i'm having a gtx 9080 90 uh, 9080 uh, graphics card from nvidia it's a crazy beast beast graphics card even if it's six years old it's still a great great card bro this is running completely smooth and just check here these colors by the way let's move now change it to the gaming mode preset mode go to the game mode there you go we're gonna use the game mode now what i need to pick up uh-huh Do I need to climb up? Far end of the bridge. Ah, okay. Got it, got it. Oh my god. Check it out. Oh, <laughs> more 60 FPS. Which really, my, my, my graphics card, which is bro six years old, this is really impressive. You can run it on high on full HD. Uh, pick the weapon. Only I have only two. What? Is, I know I have a lot, a lot of bullets. Let's continue next. Great game. Great game. Uh, I have to admit this is really a great game. Check these graphics, check this, oh my god, this game is gorgeous, it's just 
stunning game. It's a stunning game. I'm giving it like a perfect score. And it's so interesting. You have so many different maps. You're playing so many different characters. It's a great game. It's a great game, bro. Battlefield 5. Let's attack these. Use Banner Course. Binoculars to spot enemies. Oh my god, I think that should be a game over for me right now. Oh my god, they're attacking me with everything. Here we this go, here we go. Pain, you know? By the way, just these deck vessels is in Android, but if you connect it with the desktop mode, you're not gonna have these deck lines. I know that with the Samsung, that doesn't happen. Escape, escape, bro, escape. This is your This is your final destination. Peace, bro. Battle two. Perfect. PPS and PP emulator right now. Looks gorgeous, bro. Looks gorgeous on this display. On this monitor. Love it. Drink some emula emulation with the Xiaomi monitor, you see? 23.8 inches. Let's just call it 24 inches, but let's just call it 24 inches. There you go. Dolphin Emulator, V Games, Legend of Zelda, the Skyward Sword. Check it out, Ninjas. You have a small mini console right now with your Android device whether it's a tablet or smartphone and you can play these amazing amazing emula uh, emulation games these emulators uh, obviously on this monitor Xiaomi monitor 23.8 inches 24 inches to a 1080p at 60 uh, fps but with this game it is kept at, uh, at 30 fps gorgeous 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 uh, let's continue next what else we have here uh, we have example Resident Evil 4 we're gonna test Resident Evil 4. So let's go, let's go. PUBG right now. Playing with the Samsung S20 uh, connected to the Xiaomi monitor. Oh my god, it's amazing. It is amazing. You can see by itself. <laughs> so cool, so cool, so cool. Let me just enable uh, Dolby Atmos. Sit down. Perfect. I don't see anybody. It's fully playable in just it is fully playable. You have to admit that this is this is fully playable. Here go, I'm showing you. Check it out. This is fully playable. Let's try to Asphalt 9. Beautiful. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, bad. Shame. It looks gorgeous, bro. Love the colors of this monitor. 